हेलो ड्रीमर्स हाउ यू डूइंग आई होप यू वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इन गुड हेल्थ आई सीन मेनी पोस्ट इन लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स इन माई कॉमेंट सेक्शन इन द फेसबुक ग्रुप वेर पीपल से दैट द कनेडियन ड्रीम इज ऑलमोस्ट ओवर ऑफकोर्स इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीक्स मिलियंस ऑफ जॉब्स हैव बिन लॉस्ट इन कैनेडा एंड दैट इज द केस अराउंड द वर्ल्ड इन एवरी कंट्री अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई एस सी सी इज ऑल्सो नॉट डूइंग ऑल प्रोग्राम ड्रॉज सो डज दैट मीन दैट योर कनेडियन ड्रीम इज ओवर नाउ we'll talk about it in detail in this video don't go anywhere i'll be right back okay i agree there are many reasons to worry all those people who got the confirmation of permanent residence who were thinking of moving to canada in the summer they obviously can't move to canada at this moment because of the travel restrictions and obviously they know that the job opportunities are very very less in this tough times apart from that all those people who are waiting in the express entry pool who don't have the canadian work experience or who don't have a pnp invite all those people are quite worried because obviously ircc is not doing the all program draws anymore okay so these are some of the reasons to worry but what does the future holds for us is there any ray of hope is there any light at the end of the tunnel so yes there is okay before i talk about this topic in detail i would like to tell you the current status of coronavirus here in canada and here i would like to focus on the number of cases recovered okay so this is the official page of government of canada where they have listed out the number of cases in canada and across different provinces and territories but we will look on to a different website where they have given much more elaborative details about the cases and the recovered cases as well so in canada overall you can see that the number of cases are around 55000 as of the end of 1st of may out of which around 41% cases have already recovered talking of the individual provinces in quebec around 23% which is the hardest hit province in canada talking of ontario ontario has recovered really well because around 65% cases out of 16600 have already recovered now talking of other provinces like alberta where around 42% recoveries have happened and talking of british columbia where around 63% recoveries have already happened so overall we can say that canada is doing pretty well in the fight against covid-19 so as you saw canada is healing slowly but steadily and because of that many provinces here in canada are thinking of reopening there would be a lockdown to a certain extent but in the first phase they are planning to open with some small businesses and then after that they would try to uh, extend that opening to some other businesses and slowly and steadily they want to expand that opening procedure to other businesses and other areas as well let's have a quick look at it Okay so this web page here has given the status of uh, various provinces what is the current status so ontario has said that they would be reopening soon however they haven't given any dates as such but they have said that they would be reopening certain businesses as of may 4th talking of other provinces quebec has said that they would be reopening soon they've given very aggressive timelines and they've said that uh, the schools will be reopening in the month of may talking of Saskatchewan they've also said that they would be reopening very soon starting May 4th talking of New Brunswick they've also said that uh, they would be reopening pretty soon because for one week straight they haven't seen any new case of covid-19 that's uh, such a positive news talking of Prince Edward Island they've also said that they would be reopening and other provinces like Manitoba would be reopening as well however here in this page they have said that alberta is still locked down but as per today's news alberta would also be reopening starting may 4th and starting may 14th they may also be reopening museums art galleries daycares if everything goes well talking of british columbia as of now it is locked down but i'm sure it would be reopening pretty soon in the mid of may if they see that there are some days without any cases so overall we can say that Canada is doing pretty well and they're planning to reopen businesses to reopen workplaces so along with the health of the residents of Canada the economy of Canada can also 
go hand in hand, even in this tough times of COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so you saw that many provinces are thinking of reopening. And of course that reopening will occur in phases. They won't reopen everything at the same time. So having said that, you understand that the jobs that were lost, they all the people won't get their jobs back instantly. It would certainly take some time. And I would say five to six to seven months, or even a couple of months more than that. Let's say a year. Also, some of the measures taken by the Canadian government are proving to be fruitful. Like they actually offered a wage subsidy of 75% to many employers. And that has helped uh, companies like uh, Air Canada, WestJet to hire back more than 20,000 of their employees. Such a good news. And hopefully this will happen with the other organizations as well. Okay, now you can say that I've talked a lot about the current situation here in Canada. What about your Canadian dream? So obviously it is all interrelated. A couple of weeks back, I made this video where I told you if you should plan of coming to Canada in the year 2020 or not. And I suggested you there that all those people who have got their confirmation of permanent residence, if it is necessary, if you can't avoid it, maybe you can try a soft landing and then go back to your home countries. That video was basically for people who have got their uh, PR or maybe getting it in the upcoming months and they would be planning to come here. So maybe they would resign from their existing jobs. I don't want you to do that because the situation here is not that good. But that is all about 2020. What about 2021 and onwards? Do we see our lives only until 2020? Of course not. When we take such a big decision of moving to a different country, we think long term. We don't think short term of just few months, uh, you know, eight, ten months, one year. We never think of that. We think of settling in such a place. We think of expanding our family here, buying a home, buying a car, settling down here. So, 2021, it would be a much better year than 2020. So is your Canadian dream over? Not yet. It is just a matter of a few months, maybe a year. What after that? Things will get a lot better after that. Canada will still need immigrants to work to fill up those job vacancies and to help their economy grow. So is your Canadian dream all over? Certainly not. It is just a matter of few months or maybe a year. Things will get a lot better after that. I know so many of you have appeared for IELTS maybe five times, maybe even ten times. You studied hard for it. You never gave up. This is a time when you should not give up either. These are hard times, but these times will make you even tougher. Yes, talking of next year, you should be more prepared for a tougher competition. If you expect to get a job in one month, think of it that you could get it in two months. So you should save money to survive here in Canada. There are a few things that you should definitely do. You should prepare yourself better for the tougher competition. When you have this time in your hand at this moment, you should think of learning more so that you become more competent in this competent world of 2021. Just go to Google and try to search which all certifications are given a lot of importance or weightage here in Canada. Maybe you're from IT, you can check for that. Maybe you're from accounting, you can check for that. Whichever field you belong to, you should be much more competent when you arrive here in 2021. Talking to all of those people who are waiting in the express entry pool, maybe you've got a better score, maybe you've got a score of 460, 465, but you're waiting in the express entry pool and those CEC candidates are getting the uh, invitations despite having a lower score. Don't get discouraged. My advice to you would be that be prepared for the tough competition as I've said earlier because you would be getting that ITA in the upcoming draws. IRCC would definitely conduct the all program draws in the upcoming months. I can't say that it would be in the month of May or in the month of June, but whenever it happens, you would definitely get your ITA because you've got such a good score. And when that happens, you should be ready for the tough competition ahead here in Canada because eventually, in a matter of six to eight, 10 months, you would definitely be here. And uh, then you have to face that tough competition. If you're waiting in the express entry pool, I would advise you to definitely try for the PNP options. PNP draws are still happening. So you should definitely try for the PNPs as well. 
Apart from telling you the real picture, in this video you got to know that there is some ray of hope, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. It's not the end of life. Things will improve drastically and as soon as things improve, there would be fierce competition, but you should be ready for that competition. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. And yes, please put your comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.